My name is Mary Grace Lariba Roslenda, a BE Ed 2 student. Today, I will be having a teaching demonstration for Math Grade 2. The learning competency of my demonstration is that determines the missing term in a given repeating pattern using one attribute such as letters, numbers, colors, figures, sizes, and etc. And the main objective is that at the end of the lesson, the learners will be able to identify the letters, numbers, colors, figures, and sizes that comes next in the pattern. Give the importance of pattern and complete the missing object in a given repeating patterns. Alright, now let's start. Everybody stand up for our opening prayer. Yes, John, please lead the prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, class! How are you doing today? Oh, that's great that you are doing good today. Now, before you take your seat, let's have a short energized activity that leads by the Mandy Group. Mandy Group, please come forward to lead the energized activity. All right. Thank you so much, Mandy Group. Okay, so once again, good morning, class. You may now take your seat. Now, let me check your attendance. Is there any absentees for today? Very good. Perfect attendance. Yes, before we will start our discussion for this morning, um, who can recall what was our last topic? Yes, Belen? Good job. Our last topic was all about addition. Who can give an idea what is addition? Anyone? Okay, Marvi. Very good. How about the parts of addition? Yes, Jonalyn? Great job. So, there are three parts of addition which are the addends, equal sign, and the sum. Who can give an example of addition? Yes, Emily, go ahead. Nice job. So, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, which is 1 and 2 are the addends, and 3 is the sum or the total answer. Okay? So, do you understand our last topic class? That's good. All right, now let's have an activity. By the way, do you like to play a game class? Oh, it's nice to hear that you like to play a game. So the name of our activity is What Comes Next Game? So what you're going to do is to guess what figures will be the next to complete group in just one minute only. To the students who can give the correct answer, I will award 5 points for their class participation. Okay? Do you understand how our activity works, class? Alright. Everybody listen and get ready because I will count 1, 2, 3. Okay, congratulations to the students who earns points in this activity. Now, it's time to get ready for our new lesson. But before I begin our discussion, I want to let you know our classroom rules that you must to follow. So what are those? First, get ready for our class. Second, respect and listen to your teachers as well as your classmates. Third, raise your hand if you want to speak. Fourth, be quiet when someone is talking or answering. And the last is that share new ideas 
at the end of our discussion. Okay? Do you get it, class? That's good. So, I have here a box. And inside this box contain a flashcards. So, what I'm going to do is, I am going to bring it out one by one and arrange it. Okay? Are you ready, class? Alright. Please listen. So, the first flashcards that I'm going to bring it out is... What is this? Very good. It's number one. The next flashcards that I'm going to bring it out is... What is this? Yes, it's number two. The third flashcard that I'm going to bring it out is... Guess what? How about this? Yes, it's number three. The next flashcard that I'm going to bring it out is... What is this? Yes, it's number one again. The next flashcard that I'm going to bring it out is... Guess what? Yes, it's number two. The next flashcard that I'm going to bring it out is... What is this, class? Yes, it's number three again. So, what do you think is the next number that I'm going to bring it out, class? It is number... Yes, very good. It's number one. How about... The next number class. Yes, it's number two. How about the last number class? Very good, Jessica. It's number three. So, what do you think or what do you observe on the arrangement of the numbers class? Okay, Clarissa, go ahead. Very good. So, the numbers are arranged repeatedly. So, what is being repeated on my numbers class? Yes, Jay? Good job. So, this number is example of Repeating patterns. Since 1, 2, 3 is the first group, 1, 2, 3 is the second group, and 1, 2, 3 is the third group. So, we can call this a repeating pattern. Okay? Okay. So, this morning, we are going to discuss about repeating patterns. Who have an idea what is repeating patterns? Anyone? No one? Okay. So, repeating patterns are... So, repeating patterns are the patterns where a group of elements repeat themselves as the pattern extends. Again, what is repeating patterns? Everybody read. Thank you so much. So, when we talk about repeating patterns, we can observe that there is a group of element or figures or object that is repeated constantly and regularly. So, in order to complete the pattern, we can determine the missing theme by looking at the regularity of the elements or the object or the figures that is repeated. So, for example, 
I have here another set of flashcards. So, what do you think is the size that we need to put in the first line class? Yes? It is? Very good. The rectangle. How about the second line class? Which the size that we need to put in the second line? Very good. It's heart. How about the third line class? Okay, Joshua. Very good. It's triangle size. So, what do you think is the size that is repeated class? Yes, Jessica, go ahead. Very good. Which are the heart, rectangle, triangle, heart, rectangle, triangle, heart, rectangle, and triangle. So, how about this another set of flashcards? What do you think is the missing color class? Color? Very good. Color blue. How about the second line class? What do you think is the missing color? Yes, Clarice? Very good. It's color red. So, what do you think is the pattern that being repeated? Very good. So, the color green, red, blue, green, red, blue, green, red, and blue. Now, how about this set of flashcard class? What do you think is the missing object in the first line? Okay? Very good. It's a Seesaw. How about the second line class? It's very good. It's a pencil. How about the third line class? You get the idea. It's a bug. So what do you think is the pattern that being repeated class in the set of flashcards? Very good. It's a bag, scissor, pencil, bag, scissor, pencil, bag, scissor, and pencil. So, do you really understand our topic for today, class? That's good. Is there any questions or clarifications regarding my discussion? That's great. Now, let's have an activity by group. So, row 1 is the first group. Row 2 is the second group, row 3 is the third group, and the row 4 is the fourth group. I will give a pattern and an envelope. So, this is the pattern class, and here is the envelopes. What you are going to do is to use the cutouts inside this envelope to complete the patterns, okay? Okay, here's... Your envelope, group 1, group 2, group 3, and group 4. Okay, if you're done doing your work, paste your paper on the board. Did you understand, class? Okay, you may now start. You have 3 minutes left. Are you all done? Okay. Let me check your work. Wow! Very good class! Congratulations to all because you got the correct answer. A big hand to ourselves. Again, what was our topic this morning? Yes, Jake? Good job! It is all about repeating patterns. What else? 
You get the idea. What are those? Namely, okay, Juani. Yes, correct. A round of applause to Juani. So there are sets of letters, numbers, colors, figures, and sizes patterns. Anyone here can define what is repeating patterns? Yes? Great explanation. Everybody, what is repeating patterns? Very good. How we can determine the missing theme? Yes? Very good. So, do you really understand our topic for today, class? That's great. Is there any questions or clarifications regarding my discussion? That's good. Now, at this moment, we are going to have another activity which is individually. All you have to do is to identify the missing figures at the box to complete the patterns below. Is it clear, class? Okay. So, here's your worksheet. Row 1. Row 2. Row 3. And row 4. Okay. I will give you 10 minutes to do this activity. Are you all done? Okay, kindly exchange your paper in your submit. Okay, so let me see if you get the correct answer. What is the missing figures in number one? Yes, correct. How about in number two? Very good. How about in number three? Yes, it is a blue butterfly and a colorful ball. How about in number four? Very good. How about in number five? You get the correct answer. How about in number six? Good job, class. Is everybody get the perfect score? Okay, let me see. Who got a perfect score of six? Please pass the paper. Score of five. Four, three, thank you so much. So, three is the passing scores. Congratulations to the students who got the passing score of three. Okay, to the students who did not pass the passing score, kindly pass your papers in the front. Thank you so much. So, truly, you are really understand our topic this morning. Am I right? That's good. Hoping that you are really understand less. Now, before we end this session, I will give you an assignment that you are going to do this on your notebook, okay? So, here's your assignment. Give an example pattern using actual or real objects that found in your home. So, give at least five Examples only. Do you get it, class? Okay. You will going to pass it tomorrow morning. Understood? Okay. So, that's all for today. Goodbye, class. See you next meeting. Keep safe, everyone.